something you have! SpongeBob, this flappin' robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more Krusty Krab. No more Krusty Krab means no more fry cooking for you. <laughs> no more fry cooking? But because you're gullible, I'm gonna help you out. And of course make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. You will? Of course. What are employers for? Besides, them shiny objects is worth lots of money. Your treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got bilge water on the brain? I ain't running a charity here. Come back when you've got enough shiny objects to trade. Oh, 
I didn't know Squidward had a lamp. Living under a rock. Now that's the life. Hey, Patrick. Nice sock. What sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Well, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay, then. For every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. You mean spatula? Bless you. Did you find my lost socks? Not yet, Patrick. Oh. Did they find you? <laughs> Squidward, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King j j jellyfish Well, I guess you're off to scale Spork Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> Ow. I'll just stay here, balled up in excruciating pain. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward! I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself. Ow, so... Ow, so ow, did you ow, find the ow, King Jelly, ow, fish, yet, ow.
creepy.
Hey there, Larry! How's it going? SpongeBob, you've got to help me. The robots have stranded your pink blobby friend out on the rock out there, and I have already tried jumping down, but that gap is way too big. Oh, no. What are we going to do? The robots have planned their secret exit with all of those buttons spread around the rock. Help! They're making me hit myself! SpongeBob, maybe if you press all three of those buttons spread around the rock, you might just be able to save Patrick. I'll stay here and flex my awesome muscles. Here I come, Patrick! SpongeBob. Woo! Thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? Well, the robot and the... Oh, yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me pooped. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy.
fly up.
Ahoy there! Squidward tells me you're looking for the King Jellyfish. Yes. Good thing, too. That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. I hear that you can find him up top of Old Sport Mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor! Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. What are you waiting for, boy? Go get that King Jellyfish! <laughs> Oh, Mrs. Puff. Hello, Patrick. I've got a job for you to do. Oh, boy. I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. If you can figure out how to get it back, you're welcome to it. Show sure enough, Mrs. Puff. Did you get the golden spatula back from the robots on the island yet? Oh, um, I think, well, uh, no. Come on out and fight like a crustacean! Boy, oh boy, oh boy! Well done, Patrick. You're a real star. <laughs> Can I get a cookie? No. Tell me you haven't been driving. Of course not, Mrs. Puff. I don't even have a license. Oh, good. Then it was just another bad dream.
Bubble Buddy! Gosh, everyone is trying to help out today! Step quietly there. That king jellyfish is just up at the top of this path. Good luck! You'll need it. Thanks, Bubble Buddy. Are you sure that you're ready to tackle King Jellyfish? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I knew the King Jellyfish was big, but who knew he had such a beautiful voice! Wow, King Jellyfish, the grandest granddaddy jellyfish of them all, and he's after me! Watch the tentacles! Ouch! <laughs> Gotta watch out for the boom. It looks like you'll have to make a huge jump at the end of that ramp in order to reach that golden spatula, huh? Cowabunga! Wow, that's a mighty big leap. I hope I can make it. Keep trying, SpongeBob. I have faith in you. Was close. See, no problem. You could do anything you set your mind and your muscle to. Oh, yeah. Oh, that feels so much better. Anything for my best friend Squidward. Can I rub some on? Um, what if I just gave you this? <laughs> this is why I don't go outside. Ever.
SpongeBob, the robots are destroying downtown Bikini Bottom. We have to evacuate! All right, but it's going to take a while to get all this dust. Not vacuum. Evacuate! We have to get everyone to safety. Can we just load them up in the boats? That won't do any good. Why not? Because the robots have taken all the steering wheels. Couldn't we just drive in a straight line? No, there are too many turns. Those fiends, they thought of everything. Never fear, Mrs. Puff, I'll get those steering wheels back. SpongeBob, if you're involved, I always fear. But I tell you what, if you can pull this off, I'll give you a golden spatula. How about a driver's license instead? Nice try. Without steering wheels, we can't use the boats to evacuate. Find them for me in downtown Bikini Bottom. SpongeBob, we need those steering wheels. Now hurry!
<laughs> Gotta watch out for the boom. This door is locked from the inside. Who would do such a thing? You'll have to open this door from the inside. Hi, Gary. Meow? Yes, thanks for noticing. I have been working out. Meow. Not done? Doesn't that mean meow? Oh, that's the entrance to the rooftops which leads to the lighthouse? Aha! Uh -huh. There's another golden spatula. I could really use that. Meow. What do you mean, get Sandy to help me? <laughs> I can get through this. Oh, that gap looks big. Okay, I'm definitely not making that jump. How is anyone going to get across there? Uh-oh, more robots. Holy Dutchman's ghost! That gap looks impossible! And impassable! Okay, okay, I'll go get Sandy to help me out. Get Sandy and head to the smokestack's door. Check! Meow! <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>
stop your staring at me. Way too much makeup. Hey, Larry, what's shaking? Sandy! Boy, am I glad to see you. I need your help. My TV reception has been terrible lately. I need to have someone replace my old antenna with this shiny new one. Yes, sir. That fair antenna is shinier than a $3 bill. Well, why don't you replace it yourself? I'm not really much of a jumper. So, what's jumping got to do with it? Because the old antenna is up there. That's taller than a glass of Texas iced tea. The robots have blocked off that building, and I can't do all those fancy moves you and SpongeBob do to get across these gaps. All I can do is flex! Wanna see? Yeah, great. Uh, so what are you gonna do with the old antenna? Oh, that? It's yours if you replace it with a new one. Well, I have been getting bad TV reception in the tree dome. Okay, Larry, you got a deal. Please replace my antenna at the far end of these rooftops. What's happening, SpongeBob? Hey, Larry.
Like a Texas thunderstorm. Way too much makeup. little fellas.
Hey there, SpongeBob. Bubble Buddy. <laughs> Ah, there you are, boy. Someone's broken the sea needle. That's horrible. The sea needle is the cradle of Crochet Corner. Yes, yes it is. But what's more important is that there are tiki's and shiny objects just outside the windows. Mr. Krabs, how can you think of money at a time like this? Easy. I just clear my mind. Money, money, money. Now listen here, boy. You know that I'll give you golden spatulas if you bring me shiny objects. But I'm going to sweeten the deal. If you can break all the tiki's here at the Sea Needle, I'll give you a bonus golden spatula. Why would I want to break the tiki's, Mr. Krabs? Uh, because they were laughing at you and calling you funny names. What kind of funny names? Um, you know, SpongeBob butt pants. That's not very funny. Uh, no. But they said your mom was ugly. Ugly? All right, Mr. Krabs, break to my shell. You've got a deal. I'm not afraid of heights. I am not afraid of heights. I'm not afraid of heights. Good work, boy. Here's the golden spatula, like I promised. <laughs> There's more golden spatulas in the deep blue sea. Be on the lookout.
Ahoy there, Sandy! Top of the morning to you, Mr. Krabs! SpongeBob, <laughs> I'm impressed. How did you fight? Well, there were these robots. I met Sandy, and the lighthouse was- Okay, okay. Sorry I asked. Here's the golden spatula that I promised you. Thanks, Mrs. Puff. Now I'll help you guys evacuate. But SpongeBob, you don't have a driver's license. Oh, don't I? No, no you don't. Well, if I don't, then what's this? A library card. Oh. There have to be some non-student drivers around here.
SpongeBob, do I look burned? Well, you do look a little red. Barnacles! That darn robot. Robot? Yeah, a big robot stole everybody's sunscreen. Oh no! Everyone will burn, and then they'll get all itchy and peel. Exactly! You can't spend a day at the beach without sunscreen. That sun is way too hot. That robot is out on the island. Nobody can get to him. SpongeBob, maybe you can use those sun reflectors to point the sun's rays on that robot. If you hit one of the buttons on the side of a lifeguard tower, the reflector will turn. Connect all the towers and the light will shoot right out of the big reflector on the island. Then all you have to do is swim out to the island and turn the big reflector onto the robot. I'll stay here <laughs> and protect the babes. But I, uh, can't swim. If you hit one of the buttons on the side of a lifeguard tower, the reflector will turn. Connect all the towers and shoot the light out to the big reflector on the island. When the light is pointed at the island, go there and turn the last reflector. get this one open. Congratulations, SpongeBob! You're king of the beach! Here, have a golden spatula! <laughs> Thanks for your help, SpongeBob!
have been overfilled. They're carrying the children out of control. I don't know, Mrs. Puff. It looks like they're having a lot of fun. Yes, too much fun, if you ask me. You can save the children by bubble bashing each of the balloons. Bubble bash all the balloons, then come see me for a reward. Can do, Mrs. Puff. You can save the children by bubble bashing each of the balloons.
as a reward. Thank goodness the children are safe. Bob, I heard that you were collecting golden spatulas. Yes, Bubble Buddy, I am. Have you seen one? Why, yes. We were having a sandcastle contest, and somebody put a golden spatula on the top. If I had a castle, I'd name it Fort Patty Town III, and Fort Patty Town III would have a big bake sale every Monday. Um, the golden spatula? Oh, at the top of the sandcastle, right. That should be easy to reach. Well, perhaps you should see for yourself. There's a golden spatula at the top of the sandcastle. Water rising must get to higher. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Ne? Gary, what's new? Ow. You don't say. Squidward bought a new sweater. Oh, he's so crazy. Ow. And there's a golden spatula at the end of this cave. Wow. There's a golden spatula at the end of this cave. Thanks, Gary. Ow.
Sorry, lad, but the carnival is closed. A pesky robot has taken over me ticket booth. And worse, me money. If you help me get rid of that no good robot, I'll give you a big reward. Get rid of the robot in the ticket booth and I'll give you a reward. SpongeBob, help me find Patrick. I have a task that I think he can help me with. Uh -oh. This one goes boom! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha 
Well, it's not exactly what I had in mind. I hope my insurance covers all this. Why don't you try something less expensive? Or, I mean, dangerous. I need them crazy robots cleared out of the bumper boats. When you've destroyed them all, come back and see me. When you've destroyed all the robots in the bumper boats, come back and see me.
Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! Try not to destroy any more of the pier, will you? Living under a rock. Now that's the life. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some! Now they're back home, safe where they belong! Here's a golden back scratcher! Spatula! I don't speak Italian. <laughs> wow, SpongeBob, you found some! Now they're back home, safe where they belong! Here's a golden back scratcher! Spatula. I don't speak Italian. <laughs> wow, SpongeBob, you found some! Now they're back home, safe where they belong! Here's a golden back scratcher! Spatula. I don't speak Italian. <laughs> Did you find my lost socks? Not yet, Patrick. Oh. Did they find you? I have brought you to here to face a great challenge. I've got nerves of steel and muscles of sand. And eyes of jelly. My Poseidon has been breached by a mighty foe whom you must vanquish. Bring it on, your highness. Bring it on. In this corner, defending the Poseidon, a small square guy. <laughs> Murderous robot shaped like a squirrel. Look, it's a giraffe. Uh, I think I need to get home to feed Gary. A giant sandy robot. I'm doomed.
That's the biggest Sandy I've ever seen, except when she was hibernating. That was fun! Your turn, SpongeBob! Oh? Uh... We... was quite a battle. Tell him what he's won, Johnny. It's a new power, the Bubble Bowl. But wait, there's more, a golden spatula. And that's not all, a gift certificate for $5.32 to Dean's Little Shop of Dried Fish Flakes and Flowers. Oh, thank you, it all means so much, I... I... I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Cry all you want. But not here. We just wax the floors. <laughs> <laughs>